All right, doing a little more work on our uh, two liter this morning. Got the uh, cam notch there on uh, two of the lobes. Sort of a pain in the ass to do. I was using the grinder on the first two. I could get to you real nice, and these have to be done by hand. So it doesn't look as nice. Uh, these Coleman Smith cam bearings are uh, shit now. Uh, I mean, I know you can't tell a lot by weight, but uh, I can, you know. I know that it tells you how the bearing's constructed. You know, here's an old bearing, 9.2 grams. Same bearing, 3 grams. So we have a metal construction layered bearing, and now we have a shit aluminum bearing, you know. Uh, Somebody had asked me before about clearancing the thrust bearings on these, and very rarely did you ever have to do that, but this cam's about locked up in here. So the thrust will have to be clearance, or uh, we'll just go with another set of cam bearings. I don't think I'll be using these in the performance application. We'll try to dig up some, uh, some used cam bearings would be better than these new aluminum ones, I think, you know? So that's where we're at on that. Uh, I did get the case clearance here. I cut that back and I cut the bearing. So I'll have to cut another bearing when I find one. You actually have to cut the, the corner of the bearing off there to clear the rod. And uh, the other mod that we've done so far is uh, we deburred the lifter holes on this side of the case so the lifter would travel in the case correctly. Another thing that you want to check for when you're building a motor with a high lift cam you want to set your bearings in there and uh, you don't have to have the crank in place, but uh, make sure your cam's in position where it rides. Take the cam to full lift and the load would be uh, dead center on the top of the lifter there. And you want to pull the lifter up and you want to have at least 50 to 60 thousandths between the lifter and the boss of the case. Uh, you need a little clearance there in case your spring can't control the lift of the cam and uh, that can start to bounce and lift her into that boss and break it so some guys will clearance these a little bit so the spring can have time to recover and catch the lifter back up but uh we're gonna have good valve springs on this so that should be plenty of clearance we got about 70 80 maybe 100 so we have more than enough there uh the other mod that we've done is the lifter mod uh some of you really didn't understand why I notched the lifter, so I'll try to show you. Uh, a stock lifter would probably ride up in here in the full lift position. I don't know if I'm getting that in the camera. When you put a performance uh, cam in, you know it, it rides deeper into the bore. Uh, <clears throat> here's an oil passage. It's right about in the middle of that bore, and it's designed for a stock lift. So by uh, notching this hole here, it lets oil go from... Uh, from this band into this band so it lubricates the top of the lifter a little better and it lets the oil travel uh, into the push rod to the top of the motor and it'll give you a little more flow of oil with the extra lift so we've gone ahead and made those mods uh, I pulled the crank back out we're gonna drop it back in here in a little bit I'm gonna finish grinding this cam and uh, so we got the lifter bores prepped uh, we got this bearing cut, which we're probably not going to use. I'm going to try to find some different bearings. These are very uh, lightweight. And I do save the old ones because I like to do a double thrust. So, not really necessary with the straight cut gears, but we'll probably do a double thrust. You know, it's going to be uh, getting beat on this motor. So, we're going to make it as strong as we can. So, so I think that's about it. Uh, so far, you know, on the case case prep, we did check the, uh, the oil galley to the bearing and uh, we do need to notch the bearing just a little bit. Uh, I don't know if the grease will still show. You, know, you just take a little bit of grease and then pop this bearing down where it goes and if it overlays the hole, you'll see. Uh, you can just make this, uh, take a drill bit and just spot face it right there where the oil uh, galley comes into that groove. So you get good oil flow into the groove there to the bearing. And uh, and then the other thing we're gonna be doing is pulling these plugs out of the case and sealing them because they will leak if you don't address those from the factory. So, so that's where we're at on the two liter. Haven't dug any heads up. We're gonna go ahead and get the short block rods hanging out of it built. And uh, then we'll build a set of heads. 
I got a set of heads under there somewhere, some big valve heads that we got to do a valve job on and uh, some guides and a couple seats. But uh, so that'll be cool. And uh, that's where we're at. So I'm going to probably wrap this up for this morning. Put a bag on it and then get onto the bus. Work on the bus for a few hours now. And uh, still trying to decide on the color. I know Terry said he likes the purple. He's been a big fan of the purple since I uh, painted it that color. So uh, yeah, I got to get a few more things off like that uh, button there on the rear hatch and pull the door handle out and pull that door down on the other side there. And then I'm going to bring a bucket with some warm water and uh, some trisodium phosphate, some TSP. And I'm going to scrub it down real good because I did, uh, you know, buff it. I have washed it outside a couple times, but I'll use some warm water in here and, uh, you know, address some of these areas up here where I, where I pulled the glass out and stuff and then uh, under the handles and such. And then I got some compound buildup in these uh, lines that I need to uh, dig out. But, uh, but yeah, we'll get back on this baby here. So I'm going to go inside and upload this video and then uh, come pull all this stuff out. I do have to order some of these uh, bent glass seals. So this is why I decided to change these out. These are all open, so it just allows the rainwater to, to fill the door up. Plus, you know, they got some overspray on them and stuff, and I got some new German ones there, so we might as well use them. So, so yep, that's where we're at. And I got a dent down there somehow. I don't know, it broke the turn signal lens and put a big dent, so I had to fix that dent. I don't know, that happened out front. So, uh... So yeah, there we go, that didn't sound good. So I got a few more pieces of hardware to pull off. I'm gonna pull all this crap off this time so I can uh, get this thing as covered as possible. Mm-hmm. All right, just saw big Jim's truck. That thing looks killer. Matt does some killer work for sure, obviously. And uh, man, they beat Jeff. Jeff was supposed to get his uh, dark painted before they painted Project Running Side and uh, I think uh, Matt won that bet. So yeah, so there we go. I wonder if we'll get Lily painted before the dark gets done. So, all right, the battery's gonna die. We got a little flashing light going on, so let me shut this off. And uh, we'll get it recharged, and we'll move on to the bus, guys.